Good morning. I look different right now, don't I? <laughs> good morning, good morning. That's because I'm on my iPad. <laughs> I wanted to try the iPad because I've noticed that when I use my Mac, the desktop, it's not like I'm not very clear. So I wanted to try the iPad because I've noticed that when I go live on my iPhone or my iPad, it's so much there's so much more clarity. Um, so I don't know what's going on with my Mac. I think I might it might be like about to head out the door. <laughs> well, that's not true. I mean, it, it works perfectly, but I noticed that I think the camera, um, the built-in camera is probably not working that well anymore. So, I mean, I've had this Mac, oh my gosh, it was my husband's before we got married. And we've been together for eight years. So, and he had it like for a few years before that. So it's it's old. <laughs> it's definitely an outdated Mac. <laughs> so anyway, enough of all that. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Susanna. Good morning, Robin. So I hope you grabbed your cup of coffee or tea with you or whatever it is that you enjoy drinking in the mornings um, so that you can join me. I chose the cup joy this morning because I'm going to choose joy. I'm going to choose joy. Yes. It's funny. Um, well, it's not funny, but it's interesting how the word joy ever since like the holidays, you know, has just been like, just, it's just been put in front of me, you know, it's just been placed in front of me a lot. And right now, even more so even now, you know, with everything that's going on, you know, it, it's all, it's all what you choose, right? You know, if we choose to be a part of all the chaos that's going on around us in the world, then we're going to be a part of all of it, right? But if we choose joy, then we're going to also feel joy in our hearts. And God is joy, isn't he? Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So my husband made made the cup, made the us our coffee this morning, so that is what I am drinking. So yes, I am going to be talking to you guys about I am with you. Emmanuel. God is with us. That is what he put in my heart this morning to speak to you guys about that I'm going to be sharing from this devotional Bible. I hope you guys are having a fabulous morning. We have another beautiful, sunshiny day up here in Connecticut. It is still very cold, though, but we do have a sunshiny day. So, But I'm blessed to have that because we need the sunshine. And plus, you know, it makes me feel a little bit more... Um, motivated <laughs> to want to go outside and to run errands or do anything that I need to do as well. So yes. Um, so let me start us off with a prayer. Good morning, Father. Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for a new day, a new morning with new mercies, Father. Thank you that we get to choose joy. Yes, that we do get to choose joy, Lord. That is a choice that we have to make. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to make choices. Yes, Lord, thank you for that. Thank you that you are with us every day, forever, always. And Lord, if we're struggling with any difficulties right now of oppression, of fear, of doubt, disappointments, discouragements, any emotions. Come to us, Lord. Come to us and give us peace and comfort in our hearts, Lord, knowing that you are with us through it all. And then, Lord, I ask for many blessings on anyone that is watching and anyone that will be watching, Father. Blessings on their lives and their families and their finances and their home and their health, their families and their children, Lord. Blessings on their lives, your continued hedge of protection over them, Father. And to give them eyes and ears and their hearts to stay focused on what is truth. On what is truth. And to call out to you, Lord, when they are in need. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Yes, amen, Lord. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh, I can't say thank you enough. I'm always thanking him. <laughs> okay, so 
Oh my goodness, thank you Lord for your unwavering trust. So I'm going to read, the first scripture I'm going to read is from Isaiah 43, 2. And it's from the New Living Translation. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. No, they will not. So again, I will be with you. Is what kind of that's what stood out to me in this scripture. And then I want to read Romans 8 verses 38 through 39. And I'm going to read from the amplified version the next two um, verses that I'm going to read. So Romans 8 38 through 39. For I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present and threatening nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Mm. Nothing, guys, can separate. Separate us from the unlimited love of God in Christ Jesus. Not life, not any fears, nothing, nothing at all. Thank you, Lord, for that. And then I'm going to read also Matthew. Chapter 28, verse 20. Again from the Amplified Version. Teaching them to observe every, everything that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always. Remaining with you perpetually regardless of any circumstance on, and on every occasion to the end of the age. Yes, I am with you always, forever and always. He is with us, right? So, God's love letter to you and to me. I am getting my hair cut today. I can't wait. <laughs> Yes, I have a hair salon appointment. <clears throat> God's love letter to you and to me, beloved daughter or son. I am real and I am with you. When you're in the fire and feel like the flames are burning up everything that you've worked for, I am there. When you feel overwhelmed and are drowning in despair, disappointments, or discouragements, I am with you. The enemy of your soul has created illusions of hopelessness to get you to doubt that I am in control or that he is here. By faith, remember that I am God, not an illusion. I will come to your rescue when you call to me. When you're in a panic, lean on me. Trust me, because I'm the only one who can pres preserve your life. You won't always understand what I'm doing, but once you're out of the fire, you will see what I saved you from. Love your Heavenly Father. Amen and amen to that. When you're in deep waters of great trouble and you feel like you're about to drown, call out to the only one who can save you. And we know who that is. God truly is your lifeguard and he will indeed rescue you. How we feel doesn't change the fact that God is with us always and forever. God is 
with us, isn't it? Woo! I actually almost got choked up there for a minute. <laughs> because he speaks to me. He speaks to me through his word. And I know that he speaks to you also. And I hope this was a blessing to you guys. Thank you, Jesus, for those reminders. Thank you, Lord. No matter what is going on, guys, he is with us always, always, always. So choose joy. Yes, choose joy. And to choose, and choose to just rest, rest in his presence and in his peace and in his love. Emmanuel, right? God is with us. Thank you, Lord, for that reminder. Woo! Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Good morning, Joanna. Have a beautiful weekend. Whatever it is that you are going to do this weekend, choose joy. Choose joy and bring others with you in that joy. Yes, bring others with you. Choose to go out there and be God's light. Because that's what we all need. We all need that. I need that. And I know that you do too. So I love you guys. I will be with you again on Monday morning. And I can't wait to see you then. I can't wait to hear how your weekend was. But I will see you then. So go out there and be a blessing to someone. Love you guys. Bye.